Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dominique. Let's test this microscope so you don't have to. It has many of the same basic features that you'd find on a more advanced scope but for a more affordable price. So let me show you all the components that come in the box. Huh. That's cool. This microscope comes with a carrying case. I was not expecting that. The box includes two wide field ocular lenses, one 10X and one 25X. Included in the box is also some accessories that come with the kit. Came with some unlabeled liquid. I don't know what this <laughs> was purposely for, but um, it's already spilled out in the bag, so I probably won't use it. And I guess this is a foam cover? A few sheets of lens paper. So that's what comes with the kit. The first box is clear slides with nothing on them, just blanks. Second one. So we do have three slides to test today, which I'm excited about. This microscope does have two options for power. It comes with a cord if you want to um, plug it in. And it can also take batteries. This is great if you're on the go. You can pretty much use this microscope anywhere that you would have a level surface. And I'm going to test with the batteries today. This is the microscope out of the box. Everything is already installed and attached, so there's no assembly required. It does come with stage clips for you to put your specimens. And the objectives are already attached to the holder. There are fine and Course adjusting knobs to adjust the stage. Okay, there it goes. Oh, that's dangerous. Okay. So um, this microscope takes three double A batteries. There is a power switch located in the back of the microscope. Let's power it on and test it out. Okay, I think this would be the knob. Okay, yeah, so this is the lightness adjustment. You can make it brighter, lighter, and then I'm sure you can... No, that doesn't move. Okay. <laughs> so I do want to test out the phone holder. Project it in. I don't know, I, I would assume like my camera goes here. Huh. That's interesting. I was not expecting that to stay. Okay. Let's see. I can't get it like focused just right. Uh oh, uh oh. We'll be here all day if I try to keep playing with this. Maybe I can do it now. Let me try again. I gave up really fast. So let me try again. Okay, so you can kind of see what my phone is focusing on, and I'm gonna take a picture just so you can see the quality, but this is on 4X. Don't bump the microscope too hard. Oh my gosh, okay, we are not doing this. <laughs> yeah. Let me put my shit back on before I break my phone. Our first slide is tomato flush. Our next slide is onion epidermis. When 
And our last slide is oral epithelium. So those are our three slides. Um, one cool thing, just so you don't think that the microscope doesn't work. <laughs> Cause it does, you just have to make sure it's on the right light. It's actually quite interesting that um, for this price point, we get two different light options. Now let's talk about price. This microscope goes for $90 on Amazon right now. With this 15% off sale, I've pasted a link in the description box below if you're interested. I'm not sure how long the sale will last, so the price may change eventually. Overall, I do feel like this microscope is a great starter option. It has all the features needed for home learning and exploring. My only recommendation is to maybe look into getting a scope camera. It fits right into your ocular lens position and um, it would be great if you're interested in recording your microscopic findings. Cameras would allow you to capture still images and video without the hassle of having to try to figure out your phone. And you can also live stream on your PC or laptop, which I just think is very cool to capture in real time what you're actually seeing in the microscope. Disclaimer, this microscope is not clinical grade and is not intended to be used in a medical setting. It's really just for hobbyists that are looking for an affordable option. Thank you guys for joining me as I tested this microscope. If the video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about my personal experience with this scope, definitely leave a comment. Again, thanks for watching and subscribe to keep up with my journey and my microscopy. I'll talk to you guys later.